Bonjour, buenos dias, magandang umaga. I am Bernadette Goko Conley, and you are watching the BGC channel. The color of the day is blue. True blue, baby, I love you. Blue is the color of the throat chakra, the spinning wheel of energy in our spine. Open up your throat chakra today to express your truth clearly. Effective communication is the basis of good relationships. And during Libra season, the focus is on how we get along. It's not about winning an argument. It's about understanding each other's point of view and compromising. Agree to disagree? Meet me halfway? Right at the borderline is where I'm going away for you. Thank you, Bep. Focus on harmony, peace, agreement. Today, I'm wearing this Filipino house dress. I find it calming with its big pockets where I can keep my cigarettes and lighter for my me moments with God. Deal with those overwhelming feelings that are ego-based, like fear, the flight, the fight or flight response, TMI that you don't know what to do. Handle those things with grace, love, Kindness, relax and loosen that tight bun and unbunch those panties. Ease into the energy of the day by surrounding yourself with the blue aura of the throat chakra, the vicious da, the pure sense of emptiness in which our true self is found. Let me get my chakra chart. So here is the chart that I made out of my Reiki stones. Each Reiki stones has a symbol for each of the seven chakras. And today we're talking about the throat chakra, which is the fifth chakra in our energy body. There's the symbol and the chant. So, the Vishuddha, that's the Sanskrit name for the throat chakra. So it's the center of communication. Our stability, which is the root chakra, our creativity, which is the sacral chakra, our personal power, which is the solar plexus chakra, and our compassion, which is our heart chakra, are all revealed by our throat chakra. Bridging the gap between the heart and the mind and establishing that heart-brain coherence. The cave within that echoes what we truly think and feel, vibrating frequencies without. Make those sounds spread into the air, harmoniously in tune with the music of the universe. Find your voice, speak up, say your highest truth, and sing your praises. Be heard, but also and equally hear others. Listen to, chant the mantra, hum, Hum, 
with your larynx, quivering with deep spiritual truths, freely flowing like a river, cleansing by washing away all the crude contaminants and poison, purifying to be your true authentic self in the void between thoughts. The symbol for the throat chakra, the Vishuddha, is a 16 petaled lotus flower. For the 16 letters, oops, do I have that right? Yes. Okay. There you go. For the 16 letters of the Sanskrit alphabet. They are Am for compassion, Am for forgiveness, Im for poison, Im for straightforwardness, Um for self control, Um for dynastical pride, Rim for sacrifice, Reem for pride, Irim. For nectar, irim for calmness, m for happiness, m for vociferation, vocifer vociferation, om for vanity, aum for noble nature, am for truthfulness, and the last is am for knowledge. The language of the spirit steps us into pure consciousness. The upside down triangle is what I think is a person with his or her arms lifted up to the sky like a funnel, open to receive the download of information from above and flowing it down below. It is also an arrow pointing within you where the kingdom of God is, your inner world, your spiritual realm. As the energy above flows, the awareness of all is one and one is all down to sweep you off your feet on a journey to enlightenment. The triangle is enclosed in a circle. The circle represents the ether, space, the final frontier. The lower four chakras representing earth, water, fire, and air are purified through the throat chakra. Vaporize into the ether and pour down like fresh rain back to your energy field, clean and clear, pure and true. Balance your feminine and masculine energies today and rest in the beauty and comfort. I leave you now with some Bible passages to meditate on today. The first one is James chapter 1, verse 19. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. And the second one is from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. That's all I have for you today. Once again, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.